interesting to note the difference between these teams. Fnatic have got the highest kills and assists in the league, whereas SK have got some of the lowest deaths. There's your team comps, guys. You can see Fnatic, first time Thresh for Yellowstar this year. And of course, Renekton, first time for Freddy. Hashtag FMC win, hashtag SK win. Despite there being no very, very aggressive yeah. Renekton on the bottom lane. So they saw him on the bottom side after the gang in mid lane. Freddy should be aware there's a high chance he's going to get ganged here. Let's see if he can actually escape. He shouldn't be able to. Uh, he slices, he dices, he's knocked up. Hooney's got the flame spitter out. Rainover gets the red buff, he gets the first blood. Greedy, greedy play by Freddy. So maybe a Vayne will outscale him. But let's just see what happens here first. Svenskern trying to clear a ward, fighting with Rainover. Gonna get knocked up in oh, the air, combo. replies in the knockup. Fox does not manage to flash as Rainover gets him. away. TP coming down. There's the death mark. Instant flash away from Svenskern. The equalizer is all right. It's slowing Febivan down. Febivan carries on chasing. Fox is not gonna get away. Huni flashes forward for that one. Now he's turned his attention to Enraged. It's two kills for Fnatic like Elements tried to do two weeks ago. Now, Rainover, he's onto Freddy. Oh, Freddy's in so much trouble. Throws down the Dominus, equalizes up. Freddy's forced to slice and dice. It's not going to work. Rainover is showing up. Four kills. So, nothing further comes of it. Forgiven. No flash available. He dashes forwards. Steelback gets the shield up. And Red is coming is in. Up. We do see collateral and buckshot is going to be available. Summon a heal comes up. That's a double stun. And Rage, it's got them. Forgiven kills them. Two kills. SK are on the board. Such a nice turnaround. Forgiven. He was buying time. Notice everywhere. Our surrounding is in Rage. Get Moody. away. Knockup's not going to work. Forgiven and Enraged are in trouble. Three members of Fnatic are in place. Two easy kills. And Fnatic instantly punish SK's overstep. And again, you use that telebody in this top lane. And Rated and Sven are nearby. It looks like a dive is about to come out. Freddy is trying to bait it. Rainover flashes in. Dominus comes out. Sven's scare and Cataclysm. Where is it? He's going to get it down under the tower, but Freddy is going to get dropped. Equalizer comes out from Huni once again. Not the greatest. And Rated stuns Huni up under the, the tower, kill. but he gets himself too. Rainover re-engages with the rest of Fnatic behind him. That's a triple kill. The honey pot is delicious. And Fnatic take this first tower. Really, SK Dragon, except for that skull crap. So SK can see what's happening, but walking head first into a rumble is not a good idea. That's a massive cataclysm, but Sven Skirin is destroyed in the pit. Now SK Gaming look to be in retreat. Freddy's got Dominus took and he's found rain over the rest of Fnatic, staying as a group, hunting as a group. They've turned their attention to Fox, but Forgiven. Fox takes him down. Look for Forgiven in the back line, untouched. Hooney's gonna get dropped. Forgiven's on the board again. Yellow Star dropped by Forgiven for the double kill. SK lose Dragon and Sven, but find three in... Just back away in time. They're not moving. They're recalling from in raided. Freddy in the bottom, and that's going to be a Baron for Fnatic. Just a nice setup, 21 minutes in. Taking advantage of the fact that SK are not the strongest warning teams and the defensive. Fnatic yes. with a strong advantage. Exactly. Punishing SK for the lack ...available, but it will be soon. And Rated and Sven Skeren trying to get away. Rainover is flashed in for the knockup. Sven Skeren is caught by the death sentence and he will die. Tevis comes out, but it's not enough. That's a double kill for Steelback as he finds this. They always run together. So if they have, if the side lanes are pushing down towards Fnatic themselves, suddenly they are stuck like five men in the mid lane and not really able to... 17 dragons. Fnatic needs to move here. They should know this Baron is being started. When you have your Zed in the bottom lane with no teleport, you know SK can make a play elsewhere. They're going in. Well, let's see what can happen. Rainover tries to get in. It's not going to be enough. Sven Skeren secures the Baron to reply. Now Fnatic are split up. Rainover goes down. Equalizer has already been burned, but it's SK that are retreating. Freddy teleported to the fight, but he is the sacrificial crocodile. Bibivin flashes over the wall, instantly what? charms! Fox with a fantastic skill shot. Now they're jumping on Forgiven. He's sentenced to death by Yellow Star. Fnatic trade two for two, but they lose the Baron. But SK go. now got the Baron empowered minions. Fnatic a little late to the party, and SK have taken the fight. Oh, Rainover's Rainover. gone in, he's caught up. Equalizer on the back line, but it's too late. Featherman in full retreat to Steelback is trying to be zoned away. They've traded junglers as Fox is forced to go golden. Where is Forgiven? Keep your eyes on him. Instant flash away as Freddy trying to flash in retreat. Now Hooney goes golden himself. We do see Freddy being dropped, but SK a two for one and the tower. They're for Fnatic. Hooney waiting on the sidelines. SK are grouped up. Yellowstar throws a death sentence. That's not one of the many. Knockup goes up from Sven onto Yellowstar. Cataclysm locks up four. Fox was looking for Steelboat, but that is a fantastic equalizer. Forgiven down. is melting SK's HP with Forgiven out of the fight. Steelback should be able to play janitor duty. He's got one, he's got two. Hooney's got two of his own. A That's flash from Steelback and Fnatic get themselves an ace.
after shutting down Forgiven. Anik Fnatic can just clean up the fights then, inhibits it down. There's still 15 seconds left on the likes of Forgiven here on and rated. Might be able to push in a little bit for no defensive items to really stop Febren from doing anything. Look at Forgiven here. He has to be so careful with his positioning. Rumble also in his face. Forbiven dives in as well. He's down, he's dead, he's out. And now they can just clean up these fights. SK Gaming at the moment don't really have any answers. Zion Spartan is going to be grinning after that tweet he sent in earlier. Huni Insane ulti. is a god and that strong front line. But if your AD carry is unable to get more than one or two auto attacks off because he's just going to be the target every single time. Oh! No, but that's a nice Collateral difference. damage comes out. SK Gaming have found Fnatic way split up. Reynov is going to get dropped as Baron spawned in the background. And Raider didn't give us a chance to react because he flashed Tibbers in an instant. <laughs> Now, SK, they're on Baron. They punish Fnatic's over-aggressive red play. Equalizer goes out from Huni. This is another great one. The given peel away. Huni's stunned up, but he takes the lantern to safety. Look at Steelback, still full HP, low on mana. Baron ticking away, it's down low. Fox forced to Hourglass. Deathmark's been used by Febben. Huni is down. Look for Forgiven. Where is he? We see Enrated dropped in the background. Enrated, uh, Forgiven rather, in full retreat. Steelback is playing cleanup. They've turned it around and Fnatic they kite, they fight, they damage. Baron just keep hitting on everyone here from SK. Kiting in and out. And in the very end, once the fight really breaks out, Steelback is left untouched in the fight. here. still full. Spreading out a little bit. And <laughs> Yellow Star. Every single oh, that was a bit of a misplay, the but they're going in Huni. didn't connect, the box was down. Huni's gone out before he can fire his equalizer. Can SK make this work? The rest yeah, if Fnatic wants to go for it. They're staying around. Wait no. for TV. It's coming in now from Huni. No collateral. Back, though. No Dominus. No Cataclysm. SK are fighting without ultimates. They do to get the dragon, though. Equalizer comes out. It's going to split SK Gaming. It's Febben. Splits Fox's head in two. Freddy gets turned into a pair of crocodile boots as Finn gets run down by Febben. SK in full retreat. A four man stun from Enrata, but it's not going to be enough. He's going to get dropped in reply. They can finish it's this now. It's all on Forgiven against five members of Fnatic. Fnatic are pushing into the base. Fnatic looking to knock SK Gaming down. They want to steal back the European crown. They want to take SK's reign over the European LCS away. And they've done it. Fnatic give SK Gaming their first loss of the 2015 Spring Split. And they have done it in dominant fashion. So excited, we even made the cameraman trip up. <laughs> Focused, stern looks from SK, but outplayed from Millennium Phase, forgiven, very animated, and a deserved victory for Fnatic. Fnatic's early game here was fantastic. The way they played around, the lack of vision from SK Gaming, and knowing SK will overextend in the lanes, just allowed Raynova to be basically the hero of the early game by ganking every single lane, taking full advantage of the lack of map control from SK. And as soon as they got the lead, also with that Z first pick coming in, you completely eliminated the 1 3 1 from SK. Yeah. They were forced into team fights. And as we saw here, because they ran the double damage threat, they didn't get a defensive QSS. So Fibbin was actually useful on a Z in a team fight, even going into late game points. And obviously, Huni on on this uh, rumble was fantastic. Look at the smile from Daylor. Fnatic coach encouraging Steelback. Steelback Eleven, one and eight. Steelback dealt the most damage to champions yeah. from every single member of that game. Huni, he face palmed in the early game a couple of times, but he is a monster. And those equalizers in the late game. Yeah, fantastic. Game changing. I'm just Really happy to see how Fnatic played that early game. I really feel like they knew exactly what SK Gaming were going to do.